Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. So today we've got a ranking video and this isn't even all of my palettes. So we've got 15 in total. There's, I think there's 10 in here. Um, so we'll go through these first. We're not on Zoom are we? Yeah. So we'll go through these first and then we'll go through my top five or six. I can't remember how many's on the bed. Um, so in 15th place now everyone raves about Sigma eyeshadows but if you've been around the channel for a while you'll know that they're not my greatest eyeshadows um, and I've got this one the Sigma Enchanted um, it's never been a favourite of mine it's got some beautiful shades in it I'm not going to say it hasn't that's what it looks like um, the shades that I do like are the darker ones for sure, like Cosmos is really, really pretty. Whoops, the brush. Cosmos is really pretty. Um, Plume is really pretty. This shade here, Moonglade, is non-existent. Let's see if I can show you. Nothing practically comes of it. It's just there. Um, so I don't like that. Um, I like Electrum down here. I don't like Metamorphosis. This is supposed to be like a topper. And um, yeah, I'm just not a fan of that. It's it's just blah, guys, in my opinion. Um, I got it on a recommendation from Kelly Gooch. I don't watch Kelly Gooch anymore. Um, but I did last year. I really loved her channel. Um, and yeah, I got it on her recommendation. And also somebody else's on Instagram. But I don't like it. I don't like their formula. I've also got the Rosy palette. So, I mean, I'll keep this for the shades that I do like. The Rosy palette could be a different story just purely because I've got those shadows over and over in my collection. I've not used it this month, but I think I'm going to be using it next month just to get an opinion on it. So this video is a little bit late in going up. It should have gone up at the end of September. So you've just got to bear that in mind. I'm going to try and get it up for Monday. So that's 15, um, then in 14th place, it's not even the fact that I don't like this palette, it's just I don't wear it enough. So we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in the Palette 5 Minute Face on the Go. So it's kind of a eyeshadow and face palette and it is really really pretty, it's a really pretty neutral palette. It's really soft, um, the bronzer and the highlighter and the blushes are what makes it for sure. I would like to try some of her darker palettes that she does in these because I do think they're really, really good. Um, I just think out of all the palettes I used in September, this one was probably on the weaker side just like the Sigma one was. So that's 13th place. You might be shocked over this one. So 13th place is the Revolution jungle princess palette absolutely cute packaging not going to disagree with anyone who says the packaging so cute and it really really is um it's just the same as the carton and it looks like that now so it's, my issue with this is the shimmers aren't consistent across the board like this purple here this queen shade is really really chunky and stiff and i mean really chunky barely shows up in fact, I don't know what's worse, the Sigma one or the Revolution one. Um, I think it's probably going to be the Sigma just because of the cost. Um, I think that, yeah, the green one was like that as well. Best Friend, that one was like that as well. That, did, that barely showed up. The mattes though, the mattes are really, really nice. And I'll definitely keep it for the packaging just because it's Disney. I think that was 14th place, no 13th place, 12th place, I know you're going to be shocked with this because I do genuinely like it, so it's the Morphe 9Z, just say Zen, and I did create some looks with it recently, and you guys have said how pretty they looked, the reason it's so low down is because I've tried some absolutely stellar palettes this past month, um, so that's what it looks like absolutely gorgeous i would highly recommend this especially if you can get it for three pound like i did i think in the 50 percent sale it dropped to about six pound and then i bought like some other products with this and got it for three pound so yeah i really really like it and the packaging again is absolutely gorgeous right so it's 11 got some of these in the wrong places 
Right, so 11, I would say, is the Profusion Citrine. Really do like the eyeshadows, but again, like the Revolution one, some of the eyeshadows are really, really stiff and chunky, especially Strobe Lights and Gold Digger. It's just, they're a hot mess, guys, but then you come to use the mattes, and the mattes are stunning. They blend out so, so well. And then these shimmers here, these are really, really good as well. Um, so yeah, I really, I really, really did like it, but it's got to rank somewhere, doesn't it? So that's that one. Right, so we're getting down to the top ten now, guys. So I, I did only use this one when I used an eyeshadow that my friend Karen got for me. Um, so I used it then, and I love this palette, you know, but again, I've just been using palettes that I'm gravitating towards more. Um, so that's in tenth place. Ninth place, I would say, is this I Heart Revolution Mini Match Eyeshadow Palette. These are really, really great for travelling, guys. And they're absolutely gorgeous for the price point. They're cute as well. Um, so, yeah, I would say, I would highly recommend them. So this one is in position 9. And then, for position 8, we're going somewhere else um, which you you guys might be surprised at but some of you might not because I have said that this palette really isn't for me I, some of the colour story isn't really me um, and people have said yeah it, it is a little bit dark for you so it's the Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette now i had been waiting ages for this when Naomi showed me a picture of it I'm like yeah I really want it but then I realised I wanted it more for the lighter shades in the palette. The darker shades I kind of steer away from. It really is a pretty palette. And it's got some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous duochromes in here. I love, I'll tell you the shades I love. I love Opal, that's a duochrome. I love Wanderer, that's gorgeous. Ether, that's gorgeous. These two down here, these pastels. So that's Make a Wish, and that one that I broke is Echo. I also like Serenity, but it's not one of my favourite shades. And then it comes to all the other darker shades that I just don't like. Um, so that's why it's so low. I mean, it's quite high in the ranking, really, considering it's got all those dark shades in. But the formula is absolutely amazing, guys. Um, I wouldn't say that the... I got another one from them, Cosmic Brushes, I can't even remember the name of it, Royal Rose. So I got the Cosmic Brushes Royal Rose palette and the formula in that, it is a second palette, I got it really really inexpensive for £4.50. The formula in that is exactly the same as it is in this, you can't tell a difference. So where are we now? Seventh place, I think we're right. Actually I'm just looking at going coconuts one would be in seventh place i absolutely loved it um i'm really getting into neutrals at the moment i was just looking at the one that i picked up thinking that was in seventh place and it's not it comes higher so this is what going coconuts looks like as i'm sure you're all aware um absolutely stunning love this here cocoa crush and i love the cocoa here and i love all the mattes um, but yeah that's that so that was in seventh place I would say in sixth place is the Sample Beauty palette, guys. Um, the Equalizer Volume 2 is absolutely stunning. So that's what that one looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I don't know how many, how many more times I can say absolutely, but it is a gorgeous palette. And I would absolutely <laughs> recommend this. Um, so that's that. Sixth place, right, so let me just check this, gather my thoughts. I'm just trying to think back to the looks as well that I created with each in individual palette. Okay, so five, this surprised me, um, the Barbie and Colourpop Malibu Barbie palette. And I think the only reason it's coming in at fifth place is because I only did one colourful look with it. The rest was neutral looks, absolutely love the shade Come On. And then shine and then shine on and also 1971 down here 
Um, really loved this pink shade here, follow this. Um, it really did remind me of the Glam Light formula. So yeah, really, really enjoyed using that palette. So that's in position five. Position four. Oh, I don't know. I've got a joint position four. Let me look at this one again. Yeah, we'll give we'll give this one position four. So we've got the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette, guys. It's such a pretty palette. And you don't have to do green looks. I mean, it's got enough shades in here for you to do neutral looks. Absolutely love this shade, Expensive. Um, and then Lemon Pepper's really, really pretty. All the shimmers in this palette are absolutely stunning. And I do really like the green mattes as well. So, yeah, that's position four. Position three is this. I bet you're surprised at how high this is ranked but guys this blew me away when I used it um, this one is the peach please one when I used it guys I was absolutely in love with the look like I said I'm really into orange at the moment and that's potentially why and um, the formula is really really good as well for a five pound palette highly highly recommend these I mean I would never recommend you go out and buy something anyway because we're in a crisis but if you do want an orange toned palette I would recommend you get this and then position two I need to look at these palettes again because these are joint first places as well I love them both mm, this is tricky see this is what I get when I pull good palettes out right let's look at the other one yeah, I'd say this is position two. So this this Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette was going to be in position one. It's only just been beaten um, by a palette that I've had a while. I got it last year. Um, this one is absolutely stunning though, guys. And what makes this palette is this shade here. It's just so, so pretty. Um, and I do like the shade down here as well and the shade here. And the mattes are really, really stunning. I definitely want to get in the Black Friday sale the second palette um, this one's Diamond of the First Water I want to get Belle of the Ball it's just absolutely stunning <clears throat> and then I saw Pat McGrath um, put a red lipstick on a model um, she was campaigning for her new collection and she had this gorgeous red matte lipstick on um, and I need to get that as well in the Black Friday sale regardless of whether it goes down or not because it's just absolutely beautiful I'm gonna leave a picture of the model and the lipstick that she's wearing in the video hopefully it won't get hopefully I won't get copyrighted on that but yeah I will do that first place guys I don't know if I used it in September probably not so when I've done all the looks with my shop my stash palettes I bring this out and use it and it's oh my gosh gorgeous um so it's the Kaleidos flower punk palette guys it's so nice and the reason this is coming in first place guys is because of these greens here these grungy greens are so so pretty especially sun gazer that one there so that's what it looks like but on the eyelids guys it looks so much better than that and i absolutely love stained glass this one here it's like a bit of a duochrome um but yeah the entire palette is absolutely stunning so yeah, that's my first place for September. Hope you've liked this video. Let, let me know if you do this style of ranking on your channel and I'll go and check it out. And also let me know if you've got these palettes in your collection and what you think of them. And um, I'll see you next month for another ranking. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon guys. Mm -hmm.